Okay, so in this question it says the population of a town is represented by the linear trend equation y equals to 10 minus 0 0.5 t where y is the population in thousands and t is the time in years from 2004 to 2012. So basically this equation was created using the data from 2004 to 2012. The A part of the question asks you to interpret the meaning of the slope and the y-intercept. Okay, so basically the slope is negative 0 0.5 in this question. So that basically means that there is a decrease, since it's negative, in the population of basically 0 0.5 thousand which is 500 because if you do 0 0.5 times 1000 you'll get 500 so again the slope means there's a the slope of negative 0 0.5 means there's a decrease in the population of 500 people per year okay the y-intercept is 10 this means that the population when t equals to 0 basically in 2004 is 10,000. Okay, so that's the meaning of the slope and the y-intercept. The P, B part of the question asks you what is the population of the fifth year. So again, if I want to solve this question and find the population of the fifth year, I'm going to basically make a table. My table is going to start at 2004. That's basically my year. The next column is my T. And then over here, you can call this Y, which is basically your population. So 2004, 2005, 2006, 2007, 2008. Basically, that is my fifth year right there, my first, second, third, fourth, fifth. Remember, your t always starts at 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So my t is 4 for my fifth year. So I'm going to sub that into my equation, y equals to 10 minus 0 0.5t. So I have y equals to 10 minus 0 0.5 times 4, which is 10 minus 2, which is 8. So my population of the fifth year is 8,000 people. And then the C part of the question asks you, what is the population three years after the final value? Now the final value in this question is 2012. So I need to find the population three years after that. I'm going to continue in this table. So 2009, 2010, 2011, 2012, so that's my final year. I want to find my population three years after this. So that's 2013, 2014, and then 2015 is my third year after my final year. So I'm going to continue my T, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So my T is basically 11 for this example. And I'm going to sub that into my equation Y equals to 10 minus 0 0.5 times 11 equals to 10 minus 5.5 which is 4.5 so basically 4,500 people three years after the final year.